Somebody just asked how to set up basic USB for VirtualBox guests in Kali Linux, uh, so I decided to just make a short video on it as an answer. And so this is set up basic USB for VirtualBox guest. Outcomes would be to set up basic USB statically before you start to guest. And the other way to do it is set up basic USB dynamically while the guest is running. Requirements, host computer with VirtualBox installed running a virtual guest. And this video uses Kali Linux as a guest. And disclaimer, while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify I'll work with all combinations of hardware and software out, so I've included disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here I have a Kali Linux machine, and I'm going to show you how to hook up a uh, USB device. The USB device is currently installed into the host operating machine. So the way to do it statically is go over here and click, once you've got the Kali Linux or whatever machine you want, click for USB and you can simply add a plus here and in this case I'm gonna a USB flash drive and you notice that I had some other items here one's a microphone the other is a digital pad for uh, drawing I can attach these unless I have the software to run inside the virtual guest it's not going to really do much but I, let me attach that and then I'm going to show you one other thing here if sometimes to set some of these more complicated uh, items up like a virtual tablet or a, you know finch robot or your phone you may need some information and just highlight it here and you can get this information you may need the vendor ID the product ID uh, that kind of information so simply click OK here uh, that's how to get that information quickly if you're using a virtual uh, guest I'm going to remove that from here simply by clicking that. So that's how to set up on a static uh, connection for a USB device to your uh, virtual guest. I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to start and verify that it works. And here the Kali Linux machine is running. In this case the store and go showed up on the desktop. If you right click open it and you'll see we've got some information here but another place like I say you'll always can get is a places home folder you'll see here it is also so that verifies that that's working the next thing I'll show you is if you forget to do that static connection I'll show you how to do it dynamically let's just say that you forgot to set the USB statically or all of a sudden while your computer's running you want to hook up a uh, flash drive or something so I'm going to remove this use the minus remove it click OK and also going to remove the flash drive from the host drive I'm just going to click start my Kali Linux so this time when I go to places I don't have a USB drive so now I'm going to insert it into the host machine and now if I want to access it dynamically I would just go to right here where it says devices USB devices and select that double check and make sure that there's an arrow check beside there so now once I've done that I might have to refresh this but you'll see that it, it's it's there now and in the case of Kali Linux it's there and that's how you set it dynamically for some software to use this you've got like robots or something like that you may need a vendor ID and that kind of setup I've got another uh, video that shows how to do that and I'll leave the link for that uh, with the description thank you